team missing. The beginning of the week now, and that's just for that's just for a a platoon uh, of people to get things and get them in place and the chow and the and the weaponry and 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 everything. It, it, I'm telling you, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare to get everything in place. So so my question to you is this: uh, if if everybody thinks it's all in place, then where are they hiding it? 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 Because, see, that that's what I want to know is, is where are they hiding it? Because if there is, if there is to be, and I believe there is to be, there is to be the takeover with bloodshed of the United States by the, by the uh, elite, then there has to be logistics in place. There has to be. There, there's no doubt in my mind. Even back, in, even back in this black book, okay, logistics was a nightmare because they had to get everything ready. They had to get, and, and by the way, back then the cities and everything were walled up. I know we don't have any walls on these cities, but they still had to logistically get everything in place. So where are the logistics? Or are they just going to release, like Cindy said, are they just going to release some viruses and kill a lot of people and then, uh, you know, pick off those that are uh, uh, what I would call, uh, well, what I would call true to the word and uh, protecting their family and friends. Could it be that they're going to play it out in a way that they they don't have to worry about the kind of logistics that they did in Baghdad? Could it be that they'll just release, and they've already got the antidote for themselves, the very viruses and the very uh, poisons that they want to put on people to just, you know, kill Two-thirds of America. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out. I wish I did. I wish I could tell you right here on this TV today that I know how it's going to play out, but I don't. But I do know that we have something major on the horizon. I do know we have something major. But I also know we got a major weapon, and that's the protection of the Creator. Okay. Now, that being said... If if you go back and think about what I'm saying, if it, it, it you know if it were to come down to, if it were to come down to, okay, a combat situation, what I call semi-urban combat, I believe that most of the Americans, rather than waking up, I believe that they would side with their government and their military for the for the not for the reason that they believe the Constitution because they don't not for the reason they believe in the flag because they don't not for the reason of the Statue of Liberty but for the very reason that they have already they have already took the wrong peel because they believe beyond a shadow of a doubt listen to me they believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that government is God and in fact government is a God it just happens to be their God okay. Now, that being said, I have to often wonder, you know, you've heard the punishment fits the crime. So I have to often wonder, in terms of what I do when I do the, the preaching, in terms of what I do when I do the blog talk and the, and the blog TV, I have to often wonder how many people really how many people really have already... Now, listen to me for a minute, please. How many people really have already... <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I had a lot of news to do today, but I can't do it. i got to go this way. It's called, it's called being led. How many people have already... have already... Mm. How many people have already... Worshiping the beast, the image of the beast. How many people are already in line to take the name, number, or the mark of the beast? How many? How, how, okay, based on now, listen to me. Based on what I said at the beginning about you know introducing you about what I thought about Baghdad being a training ground for America for uh, troops and foreign troops. And by the way, they had foreign troops. You know, it wasn't just, it was uh, Britain and and Japan and all, you, all kinds of troops over there. Okay. But how many people are already have already been trained and are already in a type and shadow worshiping the beast, worshiping the image of the beast, desiring to have the name of the beast and the number? 
They clearly, exactly, they clearly are serving the beast because the beast has put a preemptive strike, if I may say it that way, has made a preemptive strike to lay the groundwork for the full implementation and they are absolutely, I believe absolutely already, already have been trained to accept whether it be the name, the number, or the mark. You see? And now watch this. And there's come a day that no man might buy or sell save they have the what? The mark or the name or the number. Did y'all know that? There's so many different things that can be accepted by the human race in America and for the globe for that matter that any of them things gets you a free ticket to hell and there ain't no repentance of it. So uh, the question I'm asking today, and I'm, I'm going to run out of time, the question I'm asking today is this. Uh, how far do we let this go before we say no? How far do we let it go before we just stand up and say no? Because there's going to come a day uh, that it, millions upon millions are going to accept it for security and safety, and no matter how much they, no matter how much they try, they can't get it off of them. No matter how much they desire to repent or reject or turn away from what they have done. In that day when they do any of these things I mentioned, forget about it. They ain't no coming back according to the word. You can forget it. Those that accept it can forget it. Now, am I being ugly? No, I'm being humble. And I'm, 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 my heart goes out to the people that are teetering on the edge of accepting it. And, and, and now, here's what I want to tell you before I run out of time. Those that will accept the things and everything that's going on today as being normal will absolutely accept the name or take the excuse me or take the number or the mark and they will have their allegiance yeah you know to worship the beast or the image of the beast means to pay allegiance to that, that it is it is it is right it, okay the beast or the image of the beast those that worship it they say that they, they pay their allegiance. They pledge their allegiance to it. Now, you ready for this? How many people today, how many people today are still caught up on they pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America? Am I saying the flag is the mark of the beast? No, don't misunderstand me. But what I'm getting at, if they'll pledge allegiance to a flag that will kill babies in Iraq and Afghanistan and murder innocent women and children and 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 all the all the leadership has to tell them is 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 for a good cause and security and safety for you because they knocked a few of our tires down because we trained them to do it. Oh, did I mean to say that? No, no, excuse me, I didn't mean to say that they trained them to do it and helped them do it. But but if they'll accept that as being truth, then 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 you know, seems to me they have they have broken out since uh, 911. They've broken out the uh, the automatic doo doo gun and they're shooting more SHIT than you can imagine, and people are accepting it. But. But you see, those that those that don't, and by the way, it's clearly it's clearly stated. Those that do not accept the name, number, or the mark, those that do not, watch this, give their power and their allegiance to the beast or the image of the beast. They are to be killed by the beast system. Aha. Also, also, whoa, hmm, something's going on with the computer. Also, the only, now listen to me, the only people that will not be clapping their hands at martial law, the only people that will not be clapping their hands at a new currency are these people, are those that, guess what, that have followed and do follow the commandments of Yahweh and rely upon Yeshua and have the testimony of Yeshua. So that being said, let me close one of these pages out. It says, uh, 
I don't know. This thing says high, way high usage or something. I don't know what's going on with it. I've never seen that on my computer. Something popped up said talking about some way high usage or something. I don't know what that is. But anyway, anyway, I, I closed uh, two pages out. Maybe it'll cool down. But you see what I'm saying. And, and the thing about it is, those that will pay their allegiance to the to the beast, those that will pay their allegiance to a corrupt government, those that will pay their allegiance, okay, to a wicked demonic system, will have well, they'll have a gravy train for a little while. But then, what they don't understand is that. That guess what's going to happen during that period of the gravy system? They will be forced to drink of the wrath of the wine of the Creator. They will be forced. It's kind of like this, okay? Now, in this cup, in this cup is H2O. Okay? Now, I'm drinking H2O out of the well. As far as I know, I'm good to go. Now, I, I willingly took of that cup and drank of it. Willingly took of it. It's water. The people that pay their allegiance to the opposition of what the Creator said, they will not have a choice. They will drink of the wine of the wrath of the Almighty. You understand what I'm saying? I want to run out of time here. They won't have any choice because they they worship the beast or the image of the beast. They took the name, number, or the mark of the beast. There's a lot of options here to get to go to hell. Plenty of them out there. And in any of those options, in any of those options, there's no turning back. There's no repenting of it. It's kind of like this. Hey, don't you remember when Judas betrayed Yeshua with a kiss? He took the money back and they threw it in the floor said, this money's got blood on it. We don't want nothing to do with it. What the Pharisees say, Pharisees said. And Judas went out and hung himself. i got to hang up at Blog Talk. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for being here at Blog Talk. Let me hang this up. Judas would find no way to repent. And so it shall be with those that accept any of those things mentioned here. Now, that being said, see, I find it, not as a judge, but I find it to be very interesting that, I find it to be very interesting that, well, I'll put it to you like this. Since there has to be a lot of military in private mercenaries, in private citizens, for that matter, involved in this as it takes place. You know, with the, with, with the the issuing of the uh, the you know the 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 image of the beast and the uh, name number mark and the allegiance and the worshiping of him. There's got to be a lot of people involved in that. And, and those that, whether they be military, whether they be uh, law enforcement, whether they be sheriff's department, whether they be CPS, whether they be preachers, whatever they are that, that are the leadership of this, and then the people under them that are, that are doing what they say, man, we're talking about a lot of folk in trouble, ain't we? Ain't we? I mean, the reality of the fact of the business is, is that, that, that here's the thing. You and I have have to be established in patience and not fly off the handle and, and, and not be disobedient to Him, but whatsoever His Word says, we got to follow no matter what it costs us, okay? Whether it costs us our earthly life, big deal. we just got to be obedient to Him. He said, herein is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh in the faith of Yeshua. Now, I want to go back and show you something because this is eating me up. I was in Revelation 13 last night. Cindy and I were talking. I've still got more studying to do on it before I'm going to bring that message. But but I got led over to Romans. I got led over to Romans. And, and I mean, there, there's a bundle of stuff here I'd love to talk about. Even, even though uh, uh, I know today,